Hey everybody, talking a little bit more about surgical treatment options for subungual exostosis. This is, one of, uh, this is a really nice condition, particularly when they're not complicated or they're a simple distal subungual exostosis because I've got a, a few different minimally invasive techniques that really means that patients heal quicker, but we get a really good outcome from that. And it can be as simple as that interphalangeal joint capsulotomy um, and hallucis longus lengthening, which is going to drop the toe. But the primary procedure here is that removal of that subungal exostosis through an exostectomy. Now that's going to typically be through a single, uh, you know, two or three millimeter incision. And depending on the size, a rasp or a burr is going to be used to reduce that distal phalanx at the apex. Now immediately I'm going to be able to see this on x-ray that we're removing this um, prominence that we're seeing at that distal phalanx and putting this patient in a really good position. Very rarely do we need to do more than that, but like I said, you know, if the toe's sticking up as well, then I might do some minimally invasive releases just to help bring that toe down a little bit better so it's purchasing on the ground, it's not hitting into the shoe, and I find that patients get a really good outcome from this type of procedure because it's minimally invasive. Sometimes I'll use a stitch, sometimes just a steri strip, and that means that patients are going to heal really quickly get back to their activity sooner uh, and you know very quickly not be in any pain at all. So hopefully this has given you a little bit of further information about some of the surgical treatment options that I undertake for subungal exostosis. If you like what you're seeing here, hit the subscribe button, check out some of our other videos and I'll see you on that next session. Cheers.